The original Fear Game was an in-your-face gore fest that featured over-the-top Hong Kong-style action mixed with a strong dose of Asian horror. However, our intent to keep the combat close and kinetic created a bit of office fatigue. While Fear's combat encounters were dynamic and visceral, the constant stream of confined environments became somewhat repetitive. For Fear 2, we knew we had to open up the world without sacrificing the core combat experience that people liked in Fear. To pull this off effectively, we spent a lot of time in the field studying real-world locations and observing real-world examples of just about every reproducible space in the game. We did this to make sure that we were creating believable environments that would work within our set goals. Once this information was compiled, we moved forward with production. For interior spaces, we needed more spatial variances along the gameplay path to open up the corridors. For example, we added more atriums, lobbies, and other visual cues to create more dynamic environments. We treated each gameplay encounter as existing within a volume of space that had to be both visually interesting and meet all the needs of our trademark cinematic combat. Adding low walls, rows of columns, windows, and other partial obstructions not only added visual depth to the environment, but provided tactical opportunities for both the AI and the player. Sometimes we'd take a hallway and open up one side to a rock face or a hallway below, just to continually provide the player with some extra breathing room. These changes enabled us to open up the interior spaces without sacrificing gameplay. Crafting Fear 2's exterior spaces presented us with a whole new set of challenges. One of the benefits of the close quarter combat from Fear was that it kept the action close. When we opened up the world, we found the encounters changed a bit as a result. To solve this, we created spaces that provided both long-range combat opportunities and the close quarters cover needed for traditional fights. This allowed us to dynamically mix up the range of a fight as it progressed, providing a more varied and rewarding experience without sacrificing what made the combat in Fear so unique. On top of this, we introduced new AI types that took advantage of the larger spaces and mixed them in with the regular soldiers. This helped to keep our combat kinetic, fast, and brutal. Adding in larger, more open environments and varying the spacing in our interior levels helped to improve the pacing of our game. It also let us show off some dramatically different AI tactics and provided an opportunity for some of our favorite elements in the game, such as the elite powered armored sequences. By changing the battlefields, we were able to improve upon the award-winning gameplay of Fear and deliver an experience that's varied, dynamic, and rewarding.